Hello and welcome to Fan Geek Tastic. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Today I plan on talking about uh, pressing comic books. Now these aren't just your normal everyday comic books. I've already discussed those with the modern and the Bronze Age. What I'm talking about today is going to be the the foil, similar to this one. or this one and also pressing ones with stuff like holograms in them. Now I, I'm not going to be doing any lenticular type today mainly because I don't have any that need to be pressed that I'm going to be pressing. These are generally going to be comic books that uh, People say you can't press because, for instance, it's going to be a comic book like this one with a hologram on the cover. Now there are a couple of minor issues with the spine and it is still in the original plastic. So, to be able to press this, I'm going to have to remove it from the original plastic. And I have to protect the hologram from getting too warm, otherwise it can damage it. Now I have four of these things to practice on. One of them does have uh, some color break to it. The... Uh, the other three don't. They do have a, a little bit of spine dings, but nothing that color breaks. The next ones are the foil. Um, this one here has a little dent in it. Uh, this one's got one in, this, in a similar spot. Uh, just not as drastic. This one has one here. And... It's right down here. It's really hard to see. Now none of these three have color breaks, or four have color breaks. Um, so when I'm finished with them, they should be nine eighths. And the last one I'm going to be trying to work on is Bloodshot One. It does have a pretty decent one here. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get them ready and get them put in. Now I have pressed some, some comics that have slight embossing. But this one right here is one that you probably never want to try to press. It just has way too much embossing. And you're just going to end up causing all kinds of issues with it. Now when it comes to embossing, I should be able to do this one though. And as you can see, it's Solar Man of the Atom uh, tin. It's the uh, all black cover. And there is one little issue on the spine. It is non-color breaking. Uh, the other stuff that you see, like that line there where the reflection is. That's part of the plastic bag. If you watched my video talking about uh, my review of bags and boards, you'll notice that this is the Ultra Pro. And I'm not sure why, but all of them in this group 
have that line going through it. I don't remember that being there before, but it's there. All right, now this is the one that is not ever going to be a 9.8. If I can get it up to a 9.6, uh, it would be worth a couple dollars. But uh, with the spine issues this one has, I doubt it. Because as you can see here, 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 and here, all those have a little bit of a color break in them. A little fuzziness on that corner. So, yeah, this this one probably max out around a 9.4. Alright, I finished with the first test one. And as I predicted, the uh, spine issues were color breaking and they uh, they didn't remove all the way because they are color breaking but the hologram was not damaged so that means that I can use the same temperature and a little bit more pressure and I should be able to take out any uh, non color breaking so the the test on this hologram for the temperature worked well all right, I just finished up uh, the Spider-Man 2099, and I don't see any any issues with it anymore. So that one turned out well. The only thing that's still there is right here up on the corner, there's a, a bad cut. But if that's the only issue there is, um, there's a chance that it will still be a 9.8 if someone wants to get it graded. Alright, next comic on my list of uh, One's depressed today. We have Venom Lethal Protector number one, and it's because of this. Right up here, it's gotten all wonky from uh, sitting in a box for too long. So, I am going to get this thing ready and get it pressed. Alright, moving on to the next one. We got uh, back to Web of Spider-Man, and right here is the only thing that I'm finding wrong with this cover, is this one little ding right here, and it is not color breaking, and that looks like front and back all all the issues there is with this one. so. I'm going to go ahead and see about taking that one out also. Alright, and I finished pressing the Solar. And there is not a single... That's the uh, artist signature type thing. It is as smooth as it can possibly get. Hologram issue is finished, and as you can see, there is no weird reflections along the spine. The hologram still looks good. That's not coming up anywhere. So this one is a success. The video file from whenever I was showing off the Venom Lethal Protector, it uh, got corrupted. So I'm making another video to show that the issues with this were fixed. 
So it doesn't have that crumple mess anymore. It, uh, it turned out good. Thank you for joining me today as I press irregular comic books, including the foil, the hologram, and the embossed. If you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. For everything you're a fan of, everything you geek out about, this is Fan Geek Tastic, and we're here for you.